All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to be in the 147 pound division where uh, conversations or beliefs are taken are being held that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. will not be fighting their rematch, uh, and that uh, Terrence Crawford may very well be making one of the bigger mistakes in his career, and Errol Spence Jr. may be making one of the best in his career by not having that fight take place. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about pride coming before a fall. And that is going to be the story of Terrence Bud Crawford. If Terrence Crawford does not find a way to tuck his ego and get this rematch with Errol Spence Jr. History shows it, and I'm going to explain exactly why that is the case. But before I get into it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that, you're, so that you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really does make an absolutely huge difference to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so... Word is, even though there's nothing official about it whatsoever, this is basically just going off of something Terrence Crawford said on Instagram, and on, excuse me, on, on Twitter or X, and us just saying, okay, he said he's glad that it's over. That means that there's no fight. Well, technically speaking, that doesn't mean that there's no fight. Those guys, uh, Terrence Crawford has a rematch clause with Errol Spence, do not know the terms associated with it. My understanding was that the fight was supposed to take place in December. Uh, so if the fight didn't take, in take place in December, it may have run out. If Terrence Crawford had voluntarily uh, continued negotiations uh, and, and um, uh, acquiesced, or man, I'm getting old. I, I remember. I forget the name of the particular term when in a, when in a when you um, a, when you have a right in a contract that you uh, that you do not enforce that uh, it can then be considered to be enforceable. So it may just be the case because he continued to talk and he let these guys know that, okay, yeah, we don't have to worry about that date, the end of the year date. And they keep talking. He still may be um, responsible for that. However, let's assume for the sake of this video that he is not. That, in my opinion, would be a mistake for Terrence Crawford. And I spoke with some people, got a lot of respect for him we almost never agree. And in this particular instance, they agreed uh, and said, you know what? Yeah, yeah it probably is. Errol, Terrence Crawford is somebody that is a free agent right now. And therefore he doesn't have any fights promised to him. One of the good things about being a free agent is that you can talk to anybody about making a fight. And if you want to make the fight, then you can make the fight. That's a strength to that or an advantage to it. There's also weaknesses to it in that if there is no fight that anybody wants to buy or anybody wants to support, then you're just kind of out there and you can't, you don't have anybody to fight. Situation that Adrian Broner is in, where Adrian Broner was getting moved around and looking for opportunities, but he's an free agent. Nobody owed him one. So where does that leave Terrence Crawford? And where does that leave Errol Spence Jr.? Terrence Crawford, it leaves him in a situation where the PBC, Matchroom, and Top Rank, and Golden Boy, none of them are interested or have shown really much interest at all in having him fight their fighters without him. The And this will only be in one person that I know of, that's Golden Boy, that wanted to sign him without locking him down for multiple fights. He is not somebody that is a big commercial draw. And because he's not a commercial, big commercial draw, he's not going to be able to do what Canelo Alvarez can do, which is hold bidding wars in between people. But that's just not the only reason why. 
Errol Spence Jr., whether you like it, don't like it, agree with it or don't agree with it, is being very vocal about the fact that he was injured in that fight that he had with Terrence Crawford. And he had had a, 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 an assortment of maladies. You now have uh, Andre Ward, who came out and said that he believed in a conversation with Steven Jackson that, uh, that Errol Spence should have never fought uh, Terrence Crawford at 100 and 47 pounds. He should have moved up a while ago. So what does that leave you with? And from a money position and a legacy position, if you don't take the fight with Errol Spence, you get stuck with this. Errol Spence Jr. goes up to 154, and let's just assume that he wins. And he looks very strong. He looks very good at 154. And it wound up being true that that he had a cataract in his eye, that he hurt his ribs, and that it, the weight was really weighing down on him. Say he gets there, he gets more active, he starts beating guys at 154 pounds, he becomes a unified champion at 154, while er Terrence Crawford sits on the sits on the sit, either sits on the fence or uh, or uh, well, yeah, just sits on the fence, right? What's the what is what is it going to look like? A year or two years ago, it's going to look like, well, yeah, now we know why Errol Terrence didn't want to fight Errol. Terrence knew that Errol was not doing that. Errol was not, you know, as his trainer said, um, Bo Mack, that a drunk ain't ish, knew that he was inactive, knew that he was injured. And that's why he took the fight. And when Errol moved up to 154 and he let this be known and Terrence no longer wanted to fight. That is not going to look good for Terrence Crawford in the eyes of a whole lot of people that are in the larger number of people who are Errol Spence Jr. fans. And if you don't believe it, just look at what's going on with Andre. Just look at what's going on at heavyweight with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, when you have a big fan base, all you really need is one win. And all of a sudden, you're right back at the top and people are saying, oh, this guy can beat Tyson Fury. This guy is back. Da, 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 right? That's all Errol Spence Jr. needs. And a lot of Terrence Crawford's fans, in my opinion, are not really his fans. There are some that are really, truly his fans. But the ones that are really, truly his fans, at least the ones that I've spoken to, are ones that will freely admit that something didn't look right about Errol in that fight. The people that are jumping out there on Twitter, out there cracking jokes about, you know, cracking jokes a year, you know, five, six, seven, eight months later that really just don't like Errol Spence or probably a little bit more accurately just don't really like people that like Errol Spence Jr. Are They're not going to be there cashing checks for you, man. And then you got to worry about that bug that can hit you. If you hit, the, if you wind up not taking the fight, Right. And you wind up being at one, you being like, what did Errol Spence Jr. said? Some of y'all don't know what it's about. Um, you guys will wind up being 37 years old, fighting for one tenth of the per 10 percent of the purse that you um, that you used to make. Right. Not know saying this and, and that he ain't retiring. Right. Man, that is a cryptic, cryptic message. And it may not have been delivered de um, specifically designed towards Terrence Crawford. But if Terrence Crawford doesn't strike while the iron's hot at the money that he can get now, you don't want to I mean that he can get for a fight with Errol Spence and solidifying that and leaving no doubts about that by doing it twice. Look, man. He, I hope he really takes care of his money and that bug to fight really doesn't get back at him, doesn't really hit him because it could definitely affect him later on, uh, later on in his uh, in his career. But, you know, it is what it is. That's just my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Peace.